I think of the forest of the Dominican Republic as a treasure. The Dominican Republic has 25% of the country as protected areas and more than 40% of forestry coverage. We have the biggest uh, mountain in the whole Caribbean. We are uh, the second largest island in the Caribbean. The first and biggest driver of deforestation is the leakage that we have uh, from the border. So sometimes we have people cutting the forest for charcoal production. And the second big driver is agriculture. And that's exactly why we are working with the agriculture stakeholders on protecting the forest. We have a mandate from the president that we have to secure food, of course. And what we are trying to do is divide it like between the water resources and the food production. So we started to educate the producers and the stakeholder on how important it is for them to protect the water resources because when they protect the water resources, they also protect the carbon sink. So what we are trying to do is to find other lands in which they can do agroforestry, they can do agriculture in general, or that they can do animal production for food consumption. And also we are trying to enhance the banks of the protected areas of the countries in which cacao producers, coffee producers, macadamia producers can be in the edges of the protected areas. So the protected area is not penetrated by agriculture. The Red Plus mechanism is the best solution to hit net zero targets because it's a nature-based solution. You have adaptation and mitigation within the same mechanism. You are working with the local community. You are protecting biodiversity. You are protecting the forest. You are ensuring that the forest is protected long term. The money goes to all the governmental institutions that we call beneficiaries. They have legal agreements with the Office of Red Plus established within the Deputy Ministry of Forestry, and then that goes to the community. But in the case of the Dominican Republic, our Deputy Ministry of Protected Areas and Biodiversity Conservation is one of the beneficiaries of Red Plus. So this is ensuring that the 25% of the country that is protected area is receiving the money to actually protect those riverbanks, those animals, their biodiversity, their forestry coverage of the protected areas and beyond that from the other institutions.